Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ringside of the Nibison Square Garden. On the left corner we have the Schaefer VFM, on the right corner we have the Pilot Metropolitan. Today we're going to have a comparison between the two. It's going to be a fountain pen shootout. <laughs> And as I've just said, we're going to be having a look at these two pens. The Schaefer V of M, quite inexpensive. I think this is one of the, uh, uh, I'm going to say cheaper Schaefers you can get. A lot of people don't like the word cheap, but it's just not very expensive. Um, and then we have the Pilot Metropolitan uh, that was provided to me by Lawrence. Thanks, Lawrence. Um, and uh, this is not a particularly expensive pen. Fifteen dollars, and just look at the two. I'm sure that if you look at the two, you can see why I thought this warranted a shootout. There are two very similarly shaped pens. Both have this rounded off design. Both have the chrome clip. Uh, again, that rounded off barrel design. So clearly, we've got to do a shootout here. Um, as a, a you know, pure size-wise comparison. They're about the same size, capped, uncapped, the Metropolitan on this side is just a little bit bigger, but it's a really small difference, maybe two, three, four millimeters, that's, that's all there's to it. Um, both have slip caps. Um, one advantage of the Metropolitan is that it comes with a converter, and it's almost impossible to fit a converter in the V of M. I'll show you that uh, in, in a second. Um, what else should I say? The Metropolitan is wider. It has more girth than the uh, V of M. So if that's very important to you, then you probably need to get, get the Metropolitan. That's pretty much all there's to it. I have separate reviews of these pens on my channel. Uh, if you're interested in more, in more detailed, in-depth look at, at either pen, I suggest you, you check out those. Uh, I will try to show you how to take them apart. This one I cannot take apart. I cannot take the V of M apart no matter what I do. You can disassemble this one. So I'll show you that, and I'll do a writing sample, and that's all there's to it. So I hope this is going to be useful, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go. Schaefer VFM. Uh, and the Pilot Metropolitan. I think you can see why I wanted to do a shootout between these two pens. They have shapes that are just a little bit similar. Let's start with that V of M. Vibrant fun motion, or whatever it was meant to represent. Um, I've been unable to take this pen apart. I've tried to remove the nib and feed, I didn't succeed. I didn't want to push it, so it's this is what you get. You get a, a pen that you cannot really take apart. The section is the section, and, and, and that's pretty much all there's to it. I couldn't even remove that metal ring, so I leave it. Um, Monteverde mini converter fits in, and the, the stupid thing is that if you look at this, you would say, oh, that should just fit. Unfortunately, when you push that in, nothing happens. The inside of the barrel seems to be too narrow. There's some type of blocking thing, I don't know. So all you can do is put that in place and sort of push that, that piston back then you end up with this much incapacity, which is just a few drops. Nevertheless, that's what I'm going to be doing today, because I don't want to put a cartridge in here. And then we have the Pilot Metropolitan. Somewhat bigger, slightly larger diameter, a nice pen. Comes with an aerometric converter that, that works pretty well. Uh, removing nib and feed is very easy, they're friction fit. You just put it on your finger like that. You pull it out, and then that's all there's to it. Uh, it's, it's very loose, it's easy to get it out. And the funny thing is that if you would have another pilot pen, such as this Plumix, um, you could take out the nib and feed from that pen, and you would see that they're exactly the same. And the funny thing is that, that pen comes with an italic nib, so a, a flat nib, and it just fits on the section, sorry, the feed of this pen. You just put it on there, and then you got an italic nib. So it's just a couple of dollars, because these pens are not that expensive. Uh, it has a notch on the feed, and the nib slides into, so you know exactly where to put it. Uh, the section, I think, does not have one specific way to accept nib and feed. You just push it in, 
push the converter back in and you is done so here's some Kensington blue the dye mine Kensington blue you see um, this is going to be a disaster but I'm going to do it anyway there we go ain't, ain't that much Kensington blue in there but that's okay going to gently push that back screw that in place there we go and then with the arrow it's it's simpler aerometric converter just squeeze out the air leave it in there whoops who oh, cares squeeze out some more air leave it in there the sack slowly decompresses maybe one final time there we go full of ink so there we go and now I think we should do a writing sample okay so here we go the Schaefer V F M Let's do a bit of writing. Medium nib only. At least I always thought it was me yes, medium. I don't think you can get this in anything else. Pilot Metro Politan just fits shovel handwriting, sorry. Medium nib two, but Japanese medium, you see that's just a little finer than Western medium. Uh, at this moment, I would say the V of M is just a little smoother, but I, I have to get some more input, so... Um, where's my cap? Here's my cap. Yeah, that was... Yes, of these two, I mean, there is nothing wrong with the Metropolitan. It's a decent enough pen, but of these two, the V of M is just a little bit smoother. Very nice wet line in this pen. Not bad for such an inexpensive pen. And the Metro is quite nice and wet too. Now, springiness, you can squeeze out some of this pen. That really requires some force. I wouldn't recommend that. But this pen I think you get just a little bit less than with that one. Then again, oh, I'm sorry, that was off. Oh. Um, then again, this one is a little broader to start with. You see, then the metro. For me, what would be ideal would be to take a metro, remove the nib, take that italic nib I've shown you before from the Plumix, put that in there, and you have to make it right. There we go. You get a bit of feedback too, but you get this really nice italic line variation. I think that 
adds just a little bit more character, so that would be awesome. For me, this would be an excellent pen. It's not that I don't like it in the, in the regular medium round nib, but I think this is just a little bit cooler. And, uh, well, that's pretty much all there's to it. So, I hope this was useful. And, um... I'll see you later. Bye-bye.